Let's start up that beautiful blue truck of mine. <laughs> now he is a heavy duty puller. Let's see if we can actually get some action out of him and get it loaded up. Oh, penalty. <laughs> clearance here <laughs> even if I line it up properly I'm not off to the side I'm still gonna have barely enough let's see here I'll just line it up right Okay, like it is like marginally possible, but I don't think the Department of Transportation is going to let this go. <laughs> there we go. Such such a beautiful sight, though. Look at this. Oh, right, loaded up wrong where the shovel should be, or the bucket should be up at the front here. But literally, this machine is way too big to be on this trailer. <laughs> Look at that. Barely on either side. I think we should even attempt to drive with it. Look at, I have to drive with a stick radio. Let's see here. Ah, such a beautiful aerodyne. you guys haven't seen a game show I used to do called Loading Kings and Loading Wars, go and check that out. An excellent game show. I used to play with some of my friends back in Alberta. Well, I suggest you only play it with good friends. <laughs> like I was. The rules can be a little harsh. But all in the name of good RC fun. Look at this. That motor is working hard already. It's such a heavy machine. We'll leave her parked there for now. Well, let's fire up the scraper. Yeah. And have him roll out. Slow and torquey, this monster. That's all it is, is torque. Chain driven in the back. You heard that right, you wanna see? Look at it, if you haven't checked this out before, this will fascinate you. This is one of my favorite RCs that I have. Brushless power, look at that. Chain drive on that back axle just to give it that extra oomph. This is also all hydraulic and electric. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and back them up here. You 
Yes, look at this, I'm having to control the dial which goes back and forth and then steering with just one hand. Hence why the driving is not so good today. <laughs> does, it, does it not make the clearance? Oh, it's with the front bumper, the push bumper. Too funny. I was going to show you that this machine is probably too long to even fit on that trailer. I haven't tried yet, but who knows, maybe we can't even get it on because of the push bumper. Yep, right there, boom. Belly, I kind of figured it was going to be too high. Well, no trailer for this one. Look at this, the belly is too fat to even load up on here. Insane. Let's take it over to the sand pit. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and drop this belly down and take our first scrape in the sand here. That's good. Right about there. We'll roll her forward and see if we can get a nice flat surface. First time I've used this machine. Here we go. Belly up. Now I'm aware that you're supposed to have another scraper or at least a dozer with you but I figured I'd give it a try in the sand at least. Adjusting the belly as I go, which actually has a blade. If you guys have never seen one of these before, this is actually a, a road scraper. Just gonna go ahead and raise the belly there. It looks like I dug myself a hole. That's all right. Four wheel drive, this machine. Lock differentials. Actually, for its first pass, that isn't too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another one. Drop it down just a bit here. Full speed ahead. actually getting anything. Oh, the sand, it needs to be pulled right here. <laughs> I love this. I'm gonna need to get somebody over here to give me a hand with uh, with the actual dozer. Let's see if I can raise out of here. There we go, let's try it again. Now I know I'm not a rolling professional here and that I'm not doing the proper job without a dozer to pull or an extra scraper. But what I'm going to try to do is compact some of this soil here. Might as well start this up here. Good, compactor's working. Super torquey here. We'll see if it's able to handle the sand. Little bit of a hump still, but it did help. All right, we'll shut that down. It's probably not near enough, but as long as we can get this to get over that hump. There we are. Wait, you're just a grown dude playing in a sandbox? 
Yes, I am. You must be asking where my kid and my wife are. Grocery shopping at the moment. Thank you for asking. Wow. I have no choice. Yeah, definitely going to need a dozer to pull. <laughs> Bring in the D9. There it is. Bring that hook up. Now we can pull out of here. But I have to pull with two tracks moving up, plus I have to pull with the dial. So you're gonna have a static shot. Okay, let's do this. Let's actually just bring that hook down a little bit. There we go. Well, not too far, I guess. That's fine where it is. Okay, rolling forward. Beautiful. That's how it's done, folks, right? So then I can go ahead and lower that front nose clip can get rid of the the hook itself and get out of there let's turn around and get a belly full here okay so turned around I'm gonna drag the belly so I'll drop it a bit whoop right about there it's pretty severe that's fine though I'll get the dozer turned around and we'll give it a pull This dozer weighs 63 pounds. No shit. Okay, and let's get that hook down. Let's back straight into it here. There it is, hook up. Literally. Good. Now we're in position. Make sure the blade's up all the way. I don't want nothing hooking me up while I'm trying to pull. Okay, let's do this. Yes. Oh my God, it's working. Look at that scrape, it's perfect. And let's go check the belly. I just closed it up. <laughs> it worked. Just got a little plant in there, not a big deal. Mostly sand, I got a belly full of sand. That was absolutely sick. Okay, I'm turned around. Let's give it with just this. It's got some weight in it now, which will probably make it even more challenging to drive across the sand. Full speed, hook up. Not bad, just skimming. Oh yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, it's all fine that it can collect stuff in the in the uh, belly here, but this actually has an ejector wall right here, which works on two hydraulic rams. It'll actually push all this soil out. So when I'm actually going to make a road where it's rough, in theory, this will start to lay down a pad. Now, I've never done this before. Obviously, I'll want to get it into position first. And I didn't scrape any of this area first because I actually don't know what I'm doing but I love learning with radio control hobby. <laughs> That's the greatest thing. I've done so many things with the radio control hobby that normally I never would have had a chance to do. So there, I'm gonna lay out. Do I open that door fully? I guess not, hey? It's not that I need to lay the belly down, it's that I need to open the front door. There's a front door right here that actually is done by this, uh, by this um, uh, ejector ram, or hydraulic ram, pardon me. Let's see here. It's that one, there we go. 
when I push up here, it opens and closes this door. So I'm gonna open it a little. Ah, not too much. Dumps a little bit down there. Then as I drive forward, I'm gonna push up on this stick, which will be the ejector wall. Watch this as I go forward. Forward, and then ejector wall. And it's pushing it out. <laughs> well, it was pushing it out. Did I run out of fluid? Yeah, no, just I need more practice with it, that's all. Dude, so if I would have had a full belly and of course a flatter surface, I would be able to start laying dirt down but I literally have zero experience with this. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now because I'm into the unknown with my RC. But I think you guys got a fairly good grasp at what is there, yeah? Woo, what's up dudes? What a day. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's show, my friends. Did you leave me a like click? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Does it really matter? Probably not. If you want to leave a comment, blow me. Uh, and we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have fun with RC. Clearly, you can see I am. Bye.